Bearing 203, engine 203. 203, go ahead. Have heavy smoke on the horizon. This appears to be on the Charlie side of the vape shop strip mall uh, next to Ross and the Sally's hair salon. That smoke on the horizon, you're going to Charlie's side. All right, Fergie, we're going to pull the two and a half pre connect for fire attack transitional on the Charlie side. And then I'll meet you forward with the attack pack and the irons. Copy, Cap. Pull the two and a half pre connect to the Charlie side for a transitional attack. 203 engine 203. 203, go ahead. Engine 203 is going to be on the Charlie side of vape shop. We have heavy smoke and flames ended out the back door. Engine 203 is going to have command. Command is going to be forward in the offensive strategy. We're going to be pulling a two and a half pre connect to the Charlie side command door for fire attack. We'll be transitioning to the attack pack. We do have our own water supply. We bypass an IRA at this time. Seeing Charlie side working fire. We're going forward in the offensive strategy to point a two and a half pre-connect for transitional and then transitioning to the attack back for fire attack. Do you have your own water supply bypass and IRS? Command is going to be bypassing the 360 due to size of the structure. 360 due to building size. Copy, switching to the attack All right, Chief, so we were talking initially about uh, uh, the utilization of a uh, two and a half inch firefighting line versus the inch and three quarter and uh, the benefits of each or when and how to use each one. Um, and including the tactic of using the two and a half for a transitional and then using the attack pack as your like interior firefighting line. What are some of the advantages, some of the disadvantages and why would you want to use these tactics? Well, that combination of that hose package is, provides an excellent tactical advantage to that first arriving company when they need a lot of water on the front end and then can transition to a more manageable smaller line after they get that initial punch in the throat, if you will. So the same acronym that we use for deploying that two and a half kind of comes into play for the blitz and bundle, as I call it, where we deploy that attack pack where you need uh, a lot of water on the front end um, you have uh, possibly defensive fire conditions. You have maybe a commercial occupancy where you have a lot of fire involvement um, and you need to hit it hard and hit it fast with a lot of water to set that fire back on its heels a little bit. But yet we're not gonna continue operating on a two and a half um, because of one of the shortcomings of two and a half is the uh, maneuverability is a little bit challenging with it. So we can transition after we get that reset with that two and a half to a more manageable line and possibly take that interior to go in uh, for the final kill on that fire extinguishment. So it kind of marries two really good tactical options into one. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great tactical uh, deployment that you can keep in your toolbox. All right. All right, Captain Davila, so what are some of the uh, uh, times, or when are some of the times that you think that you would use a two and a half inch firefighting line over an inch and three quarter line? Uh, so for me, depending on what the, uh, what the res is, if it's residential, commercial, is if the fire has been vented, um, what our water supply is coming into the incident, uh, all it's going to take uh, uh, precedence on, on how we deploy and everything. So 
when I deploy two and a half, I know that we have about 750, 800 gallons uh, on this apparatus, and that if we're going to do a transitional, um, we have enough water to be able to do that and then transition into an attack pack. So uh, when we come to the commercial properties, I look for my hydrants to figure out where they're at. Um, with pre-planning, knowing what our hydrant uh, pressures are, I know that in this scenario, uh, we'll, we have, we'll be able to get our own water supply, so I'll be able to deploy a two and a half inch uh, for a vented fire, especially in commercial properties. Uh, it gives us the reach that we need. Um, it gives us the water, the volume that we need to be able to reset that fire. And then uh, when we need to make interior, we can transition from the two and a half uh, to the attack pack and then make our interior attack from there. So uh, life safety also is the primary concern in being able to get water on that fire quick to be able to separate that threat from uh, any uh, victims that may be in the building. Uh, so all that's what's going to take into consideration there. So. Okay. So what I'm kind of gathering is uh, it depends on uh, your occupancy type uh, and then uh, big, big fire equals big water. Absolutely.